How do I emit particles from the shape of a cylinder? This is very easily done through the application of a cylinder module. Let's go ahead and apply one to our very simple particle system here. I will right click, come down to location, and we see cylinder. So drop that in, and we start emitting particles from a cylinder right away, though it's a little difficult to visualize the cylinder until you click on the little X button here, and that shows the visibility of the cylinder itself. Now I'm going to do a few more things just to help with visualizing exactly what's going on here. I'm going to turn off initial velocity so that we're just kind of spawning from points inside the cylinder and not moving. Then let's come back up to the emitter, and down in the required module, I'm going to set our spawn rate up to 100. So we can see a whole lot of particles within our cylinder. All right, now the cylinder itself has a lot of properties. So I'm going to scroll down through these and kind of give you an idea of what you got. First off, you have a start radius and a start height. These are by default set to constants, and they just allow you to define the overall size of the cylinder. So for example, we could set this down to 20, and we have a much thinner cylinder, as you can see. And then we could come over to our height and increase that to, say, 100, and now our cylinder gets quite a bit taller. So very simple there. Now if we scroll down here, we have the height axis. This just simply allows you to define the orientation of the cylinder along a main axis. So by default, it's set to Z. If we set it to Y, you can see the cylinder flip over onto its side, or of course, orient down the X axis. We'll go ahead and leave it at Z for now. Now down underneath these, we have the various quadrants of the uh, cylinder that, uh, in which you can spawn your particles. So do you want to uh, have particles spawn on the positive X side of the cylinder? So there you go. If you switch that off, we're no longer spawning on the positive X side. Of course, you can switch off negative X as well. So you're only spawning on that side. And really, without, I mean, you can play with these and turn off various axes and get a variety of effects. So now we're only spawning in the positive Z and positive X area, which just defines a little plane. Now, down from here, we have surface only. So if we switch this on, we are only spawning particles on the surface of the cylinder. It's pretty easy to see that in action. And then we have a velocity checkbox. Now, this is kind of cool. If we switch this on, we are pumping the particles out away from the cylinder, and the speed of that is based on the velocity scale, which we can set down here. By default, this has a constant distribution. Set this to 1, and this is kind of a scalar value, so we could pull this down to 0.5, and now we've slowed down our particle emission. Down underneath this, we have a start location. This just simply allows you to define the location of the cylinder. By default, this is set to 0, 0, 0. If you take X and push it up by, say, 50, you just pushed your cylinder off to the side. That's really all there is to it. Now, way back up at the top, there is a radial velocity property, which is easily overlooked. And what that does, uh, by default, is it's just going to push your particles out in kind of a flat direction, directly out from your... Uh, from your cylinder. Now if you switch this off, you'll notice we have a little bit of upward motion. We're actually pushing out from the center of the cylinder as opposed to the surface normal of the cylinder. This means we have a little bit of vertical motion. We're now pushing a little bit out uh, in the upward direction and in the downward direction. And if you switch it on and off, you can really see the difference. So that is a quick look at emitting from a cylinder, which wraps up this How Do I video.